Hello YouTube and welcome to your second Google Chrome extension development tutorial and before starting this tutorial I uh, to watch all of my tutorials in full screen 1080p high definition so that you are able to see what I am doing and the things are not just messy okay coming back to the tutorial in this tutorial we'll be discussing an important file in Google Chrome extension called manifest.json in the last tutorial or basically in the first tutorial I told you that manifest.json is an important file and we'll be discussing this file in upcoming tutorials but this file is so important that I, that I placed the tutorial number of this file to number two which you are currently watching so manifest file dot json file is actually the core of your extension which tells this google chrome browser engine everything about your extension the name of your extension its version its language description icons to use what happens when user hovers over their extension what happens when it clicks over your extension and about the new pages the permissions your extension requires the sources the storage and all that stuff uh, this is the official documentation of manifest file from Google Chrome but we don't need all of this because this is very vast and you don't also require all of these manifest commands in your one extension but I'll be discussing the most popular and useful with you if we open our extension page which we downloaded in the last tutorial the manifest consists here of very basic commands first of all manifest version 2 just make sure that you have to give it manifest version 2 at least if you are in 2015 watching this tutorial in 2015 or maybe an year or two ahead manifest version 2 is google chrome's manifest version which was launched after chrome 18 before Chrome 18, the developers used to give manifest version 1. But if you do manifest version 1 right now, it won't work. Or if you do like a greater version, it won't work as well. So JSON. The next thing we have in our extension is the name of the extension. And what is the name of the extension? It is the name which appears first of all on your extension page when you launch it on your store and secondly it appears right here in your chrome extension URL now the next thing is description explanatory the description is placed underneath the title the version as you can see besides the title and the browser action now browser action is something important Browser action is, is what that tells Google Chrome that when I click on this icon then what should be the default pop-up that means what should be the default HTML file to show up and here's we have pop-up.html now when we click on this then it shows hello world but supposedly if I change the path of this to an invalid file If I click on this it will simply show me page not found as you can see this web page is not found so default pop-up is a file which pops up when you click on your extension in the toolbar default icon is the icon of your toolbar just do default icon and give it your icon permissions permissions are something important these are the permissions required by your extension uh, the like the chrome resources the active tab means the url and all that stuff required for extension i'll have a separate tutorial for the permissions because as we'll learn google chrome extension development we'll learn what permissions are and why they are required just for now let's see what permissions are required for by ad block so if you want to see the permissions required by a specific extension click on details and as you can see permissions here 
it says read and change all your data on the websites you visit let's see what required by dead lockers it says the same don't track me Google only on the google.com sites I like that okay so coming to some other and other commands we have let me see what is useful here uh, web accessible resources we will learn in future tutorials what is this because it needs some explanation version name is not necessary update URL not necessary not necessary storage Content scripts. Now, content scripts in JavaScript uh, are something which runs in the context of the browser. In the next tutorial, in the next tutorial, I promise I'll explain the three scopes of scripting in JavaScript and Google Chrome extension. One of them is content script. I'll explain content scripts as well in the next tutorial. So for now, let's leave content script, but it is very important. And Chrome URL overrides this basically this commands help you to create new tab extensions like if I create like I have already done an extension right here let me check yeah this one so in this extension I'm using actually this Chrome URL overrides and if you see if I click on new tab then it overrides my default extension page or basically the about the new page and shows a custom new tab page as you can see the title is also changed to fresh quotes and if I disable this this is my default new tab page as you can see right now okay so using Chrome URL overrides we can do much of the stuff then the rest is browser action and page action the you need to give only one of those browser action is similar to page action icons icons is used here like icons or icons right here and give a comma to like 64 the 64 by 64 icon is used here the 16 by 16 icon is used here in the contextual menu if you right click on the page and for example this extension JavaScript disabler is using 16 by 16 icon here and 32 by 32 is also used somewhere I don't know so 16 by 16 64 by 64 like this you specify your extension size and here you specify your path of the extension for example if I do icon.png and just reload this page as you can see the 64 by 64 though the container is 64 by 64 but the icon is relatively small relatively small so it does not fill the full container for example this icon is 64 by 64 okay so I guess that's all for this tutorial this much is uh, good for you to start I'll discuss the three context of scripts in JavaScript uh, in Google Chrome extension where, where Thank you for watching my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to receive the latest updates. Thanks for watching.